Good day on mode time. Today I'll be looking at upgrading my impact driver brushless or Z tool. Um, I'll make it a bit of a multi tool. I'll make it a bit of a range driver and impact driver in the same time. Let's get to work. So even I pulled the bolts up apart already, just trying to save time. Um, I would recommend firstly to release this steel ring around the sleeve right there to be able to put this ones to pieces so I'm gonna do that for that I'm gonna need these two little screwdrivers let's get to work Alright, that was easier than I thought actually. I expected a bit of a battle. Okay. I'll just pull this one apart. Should have a couple of balls, metal balls in there, which I believe. Yeah, I already pulled mine apart earlier. I didn't put them back anymore, I didn't bother. So put them together. Alright, and now we're good to remove all the screws. I use this key which is called T10. So it's about 11 bolts I reckon here. I got three, three, three. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're exactly the same bolts. The 11th one right here, it's a little bit shorter. Well, let's pull it apart to a thousand pieces, just exactly how I love it. I might need some screwdrivers just to help myself a bit. Okay, so that's how it should come apart. Just one top of the skin comes off. I think it's the right side, and the left side should keep everything attached to it still. Okay, that's part one done. Part two. I'm going to lift this one up slowly together, the motor and the head. Yep, okay. When this happens, I'll just pull it apart, just like that. And then, ta -da! that's our range head, that's how it looks like. I'll just put him aside. I'll get the part I bought online, check it in there. Put it back exactly, or maybe not like that, maybe just do it this way first and then fit it back in. Voila! And that was it, wow! That was so easy! Actually, to be honest, it was not easy at all. It is easy now. So the issues I had before, actually my part was not quite fitting my drill. So the first issue I had was the diameter here was maybe one and a half mil larger. The issue number two was the hole here was maybe two mils not deep enough okay so these two were my challenges alrighty challenge number one to find it down on the outside because it's thicker obviously make it thinner I used brushless with either grinder obviously with this grit disc which is uh, it's just a one from Aldi it's a 120 grit sandpaper, this flap on it, 
So I'm not gonna do it now. I don't have the tools. I need to go outside and stuff. But basically, I fixed this one up and I was grinding a tiny bit and spinning a bit. So I went around and around and around smoothly. I did my best as I could. And then I was keep checking it in this chasing just to make sure it fits. So this will be a bit of a my first video when I was actually trying to fit in the original head. And I was struggling to go in. So it definitely was way larger. So the second bit was actually when I made it fit in and but then would not lock in properly because that hole was not deep enough. So I'll just have another look on this so video. This so after the grinding all went in beautiful. That should go in there nice and smooth. Well, supposed to be going nice and smooth, but it was not. So you need them flash. We need the aluminium to go flash with the plastic with the plastic right there and it was not going in. Okay, so these two were my issues, how I overcome them. To thin down the diameter, I went around with the grinder. Obviously, fix the one, fix this one up to, if you have like a press, um, a press bench, bench press, fix it up there and just go around it a smooth, just light, work it really light, don't go too much, and then keep trialing until it goes in. When it goes in, just give it another smoothing out. Um, that was the first one. And the number two issue was, as I was mentioned before, this hole was not deep enough. Oh, it's really hard to drill this metal. I even went to a machinist with a special um, drill press, even. It only took a tiny bit on. This metal is that hard. So my other option was, and the only option was that pin. So that pin, goes into that hole right there. Again, my visitor grinder came in handy, so I just grinded it enough with the same grit, sandpaper grit 120. Uh, I, gr I grinded down and down to a point, like I was doing a, grinding a bit, checking it, grinding a bit, just to make sure you want these two flush. When they touch, basically, and sit on top of each other, there is no space in between like that because the nipple was too long and it was not sinking into that hole. So obviously to grind it, you pull this one out, but be very careful when you do so. I would do it the upside down. I would do it like this. Okay. So here inside, there is a ring. You want that ring put over his end here because if you don't, you see three metal pins, if they come out, all of these little wheels fly everywhere. So this ring is just to hold them, hold the pin in place so we don't lose anything. Voila, that's how it is basically. Yep, so I took it out, grinded that little pin there to the point was enough for them to actually match and marry in. Beautiful. Um, let me put it back together now and um, we'll give the drive test as well. So, I'll do it in reverse. I'll just put that one in there. Okay. Let's drop that one in. When we put these two back together, just watch out for this cable. These two cables, when I pulled mine apart from factory, was set wrong. So the cable was on top of this metal. You want it underneath, okay? Otherwise, it's going to get squashed and damaged, and you might lose the light here, the working lights in front. Okay, so I'll make sure that one goes like that on the trigger. Bring careful, mirror it in together, should come flash like that, should be flash like that, and just should be locking it in there, and then the cable is right, I don't know if you can see it, this cable has to be underneath, so now I'll push that in there as well, to 
Okay, so I press it all in. Just make sure that cable, this one, goes between the motor and the starter so it doesn't get squashed. And it's loose. I think I, I just caught my in there right now. Should be loose. Okay. Okay. And then with the same little screwdriver, you can actually stretch it and find room for it between the chasings. Hold on, I think I got mine. All right, that's more like it. And down should go there, down. Beautiful. Everything in place. I got traction connection with the motor. Put the covering on. One, back. If something doesn't seem right, doesn't click in properly, without applying too much force, then something is not right. Something is not aligned up properly. Looking in my case, it's just holding together beautifully. Alrighty. Now I'll start putting the bolts in, all of them. I'll do the cap last as well. And to start off, I'll use the little one which goes here so I don't mess up. And the shorter one, I mean. So I'll just put it in the pause for a second. Alrighty, welcome back. It's all back together. Chuck the battery on and guess what? It's working. So I'll just put the sock on. Too easy. Yep. We want to check on one of these. Too easy. No worries. Thanks for joining me today. Um, yep. Subscribe, stay tuned, more modifications coming. Who wants to take a challenge? <laughs> Try and guess what is going to be my next tool I'm going to improve and how possibly I could upgrade it. Thank you, till next time, stay safe.